There was a story that came out on September the 19th, 2023, that Vince McMahon held a meeting in which he introduced WWE staff to Ari Emanuel, introducing him as, quote, his new boss. But what has really caught people's attention is that Vince mentioned that the reason why the deal had to be made, why they had to merge or sell the company, is because business had plateaued. This led so many people to basically eye roll and say, what do you mean? They were making record profits this entire time. How could it be possible that the business had plateaued? The old man was just using his stock in order to get back in position. Well, it's a shame that the wrestling media isn't in the research business. Because it actually didn't take me that long to figure out what he was talking about. In fact, it took me so not long because I actually remembered what the problem is. And if you have been following on this channel, then you know essentially what the problem is. Sponsorships. It's funny how everybody knows that Light Shed Partners exists. You know, when they want to complain about WWE or they want to speculate about the sale or they want to talk about ratings or whatever. But Light Shed Partners was one of the many organizations that were involved with the investor calls, which happened every quarter. Correct. Every single quarter for like the last two years, they have been asking WWE, why have you not increased your sponsorship revenue? It's the one piece of revenue that WWE had not been able to figure out. They, of course, were selling a lot of tickets, TV rights fees, everything else was up. But their revenue from sponsorships had plateaued. They could not figure it out. Now, it increased a little bit once Vince left because that was the belief is that Vince is a problem. That, you know, uh, all the scandals and a lot of the negative reputation of WWE was Vince McMahon. So Vince was gone for a short amount of time. Sponsorship revenue did not increase that much. So Vince came back and then sold his shares of the company to Endeavor. Now, why would you think when Vince McMahon says business plateaued, what do you think that they're talking about? They're talking about sponsorships. The only thing that they had not figured out. Now, how did I figure this out? Me, dumb, dumb idiot, Mongo Slade on the internet. How did I figure it out with just me and my stupid fat thumbs? Well, because again, I listened to the investor calls. I listened to the questions and I remembered that the one element of their business, which they have always had difficulty growing, is their sponsorship business. But furthermore, I remembered that the one element of UFC's business that Endeavor increased by multitudes was their sponsorship business. This is from Forbes. UFC sponsorship revenues were $52 million in 2015, the year before the Endeavor purchase, and had been stagnant for a four-year period. According to Endeavor's most recent earnings call, UFC sponsorship revenues are now, quote, nine figures that is over 100 million dollars so from 52 million dollars to over 100 million dollars that is over double the amount of sponsorship revenue that they were able to bring in for the ufc in addition said the promotion renewed 10 international media rights deals in 2022 per the same call, with an average annual value up more than 100% over the prior deals, which means they're getting more money internationally than they were getting on their own. In addition, it says, in 2015, international media rights were a little over 10% of the UFC's overall revenues. Even site fees, aka location fees, have grown to the point where they're now specifically being mentioned on earnings calls. In other words, people are paying for UFC to come to their venues. This means that cities, localities, etc. are now bidding to have UFC events. This is something WWE, of course, has been doing for a little while now, but this is about helping them 
increase that business. Now, let's say Mongo, eh, I, I take your word for it, but don't take my word for it. This was from August 2022. This is an interview that Brandon Ross of Lightshare Partners did with Wrestling Inc. He says, if you look at the UFC acquisition and how that was handled, they allowed Dana and the UFC to kind of run as their own entity while leveraging all the infrastructure of Endeavor to help make them better and unlock revenue opportunities. I think a really good example of that is on the sponsorship side. We all know that WWE has really be, been under monetized from a sponsorship perspective for a long time. If you look at it like, where does the profitability of this business comes from? It's on those kinds of rights deals. In other words, if you paid attention to the quarterly earnings calls for the past two or three years, and people have been asking, why do you not have any more sponsors? Where's your sponsorship revenue? And Vince and Stephanie and Nick Khan bumbling around trying to figure it out. They still couldn't, but Endeavor figured it out. So you got Nick Khan, you got Vince, and they said, hey, we see what Endeavor is doing for UFC. We want some of that too. Do it for us. But Endeavor says, hey, you got to come under the umbrella. You got to join the team. So WWE joined the team. They hopped upon the flywheel, which is another word for Endeavor runs uh, a myriad of other companies. And these other companies typically acts as agents of the other brands that they own. So there is an Endeavor company that handles UFC's international business. There's an Endeavor company that handles UFC's media rights fees. There's another company that handles this, that, and the third. And it's just called the flywheel. So essentially, they're going to do the same thing for WWE. Here's what Vince said in April when he sold the company. He says, I could probably do what Ari is doing right now with UFC, but it would take me 10 years. And by the time I grab those 10 years, he'd still be 10 years ahead of me. So he's saying essentially, they already have an infrastructure in place. That will maximize our business. They be getting nudged in this direction for years anyway. No doubt the timing of the sale has something to do with Vince uh, being ousted and the whole scandal that he was involved with. No doubt that is involved with this. But what he's but White Share Partners and other organizations have been nudging WWE towards selling to Endeavor. For several years. In fact, again, Light Shed Partners were talking about them selling to Endeavor last year. So many people who are smart to business already knew this was coming. I was resistant to it, but because I didn't think Vince would ever give up his baby. But it makes perfect sense considering he's watching what they did to UFC. He wants the same thing for his company, but he's too damn old to continue doing this and trying to figure out new revenue streams. He let somebody else handle it. And to be quite honest, this is a little bit it, selling the company in totality is a problem and not something I saw happening. But when Vince didn't know anything about cable or television, he pretty much turned the company over to Dick Ebersol, let him run the television program. So when they're doing Saturday night's main event, there were certain things where Vince had, had to, he was financing the whole ordeal, but he had to sit back and watch. Dick Ebersol was handling it. This is a similar situation, except for he actually had to give up control of the company in order to do this. But it's a similar situation. He saw that somebody was doing something better than he could do it and said, you guys handle it. When they were doing the uh, WWE Network, they saw other companies were going to come in and perhaps do it better or at least cut them off at the marketplace. They said, OK, we'll just let NBC handle it. We'll be hands off. NBC, you handle it. They look at the WWE shop. They turn that over to Fanatics. Hey, you guys handle it. You, you take care of this. So now they're looking at the broadness of the business and saying Endeavor has resources that they can put in each individual stage 
of all the things that we need from media rights to sponsorships, to marketing and promotion, all of these sorts of things, they can handle these things. We're going to let them handle it. So when Vince means that the business has plateaued, he was not wrong. And it had nothing to do with, oh, he just wants to stay in power. Because guess what? He could have kept his controlling share of WWE and still been in power. He didn't need to sell the company to come back. He didn't need to sell the company to be in, to have authority. So this doesn't make any sense. But it makes sense if you actually paid attention to the earnings calls. But you're asking too much from the wrestling media. All right, like, share, subscribe. I'll talk to you guys later. Peace. Mongo Slave. Best house I ever do, Daddy. <laughs>